Welcome to Winning with God with William and Lisa. We are so blessed that you have joined us today. We've got an awesome broadcast for you. In 2 Corinthians 2.14, which is our power verse, it says, Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Amen. Amen. God always causes you to gain the victory. If your faith and your hope is in our Lord and Savior, His Son, Jesus Christ, the tricks, the plans, the schemes of the enemy are no match for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Place your faith, place your hope in Jesus Amen. and watch you gain victory in areas that you never had victory before mm -hmm. up until now. I want to tell you, God is getting ready to change some things in your life. Stay right. faithful, stay planted in the house of God and get ready for God to move like he's never moved before. Yes. Your day of victory is coming right now. Please connect with Winning with God through our website at winningwithgod.org or our Facebook page at Facebook slash Winning with God. We desire to hear about your praise reports and prayer requests. God loves you and so do we. Welcome back to Winning with God. Today's topic is living a victorious life. Amen. Amen. Now God desires you and I to live a life of victory and not a life of barely getting along mm -hmm. or a life of defeat. Now the world may tell you that you can excel, you cannot excel in certain areas, but if you're living under God's open heaven, if you belong to him, you can have victory in your life. Now maybe you may have a family member that has struggled through something all of their lives. Don't pick up that thing and say, because of d daddy had it or my grandfather oh, had yes, it, yes. I'm going to have it too. Mm -hmm. You proclaim victory over your health. Yes. You proclaim victory over your wealth, over your family and over everything. And you will get exactly what you say mm -hmm. that God says that you can have. <clears throat> say this with me. God wants me, God wants me to, live a life to live a life of victory. Of victory. And my faith, and my faith activates, activates victory, victory in my life. In my life. Therefore, Amen. therefore, I choose, I choose to live a life, to live a life that's full of victory. That's full of victory. That's full of God's word. Full of God's word. Good God Almighty. And I do it now. And I do it now. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I receive that. Well, let's pray and get into His I word because we are going to have a Holy Ghost time in the house. Amen. Precious Heavenly Father. We invite you to come in with us. Let God's holy word leap off the pages of life and let it change our life, our way of thinking, our way of doing life forever. Father, we acknowledge that your word is our number one source for wisdom, for truth, and for direction. So therefore today, Father, we say, have your way. We choose to live a life of victory in you, in Jesus' name. And if you agree, shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, if you've got your smartphones or your uh, Apple pad, iPad or whatever, if you've got the word of God, I want you to turn it to 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Now, this is our power verse. verse. Yes. And we've been waiting a long time to bring you this. I'm telling you what, it's, God's word is better than Brewster's ice cream. And I love me some ice cream. Amen. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, before we jump into 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14, I want to share with you something that the Holy Spirit gave me. A lot of times we quote from different authors, and that's great. But here's what the Holy Spirit said to me. Someone, oh, correct, let me read it correctly. Victory is always possible for the person who never stops fighting the good fight of faith. Did you catch that? Victory is always possible for the person who never stops fighting the good fight of faith. Today, as we jump into his word, like we're diving into a swimming pool, 
as we get fully submerged into his word and to his revelation, I want you to pick up that thing. God is saying, pick up that gift, that vision that you once had. Pick it up and hold on to it. Call it forth. Birth it forth in the spirit through prayer and intercession. And never give up on God's ability to bring victory into your life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, Now thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. Amen. Now, if our confidence and our faith is in God's Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, then God will cause us to come out on top of any situation. God causes us to triumph even when other people say or believe that we will be defeated. Now, only God can bring you victory over drugs. Mm -hmm. Only God can give you victory over pornography. Only God can give you victory over any disease or bondage. Now, living a victorious life can only be attained in the name of Jesus. There's no other name in heaven or in earth that carries the significance, the power, the authority mm -hmm. that can bring victory into your life but Jesus. Amen. As a matter of fact, demons and most politicians tremble at the sound of his name. You don't believe that? Then why did they take prayer out of schools? Why did, they, why did they take the national anthem out of football and games, college Schools. and high school? Yes, because yes. you're proclaiming the name of Jesus in there. Mm -hmm. Were you saying God? Baby, God is Jesus. Three-part being, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The devil knows exactly what he's doing, mm -hmm. and, but we're not going to stop proclaiming the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. Take Amen. that, devil. Amen. There's victory in the name of Jesus. I feel the Amen. Holy Spirit. If we live according to the word of God, according to his word, mm -hmm. then we will have victory over anything. Any and every. Every. Now, serving yes. Allah will not give you the victory. No, no. Serving Muhammad, Buddha, or anyone else will not give you victory. There is only one name that can give you the victory, and his name is Jesus. Amen? Praise God. If you accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life today... Good God Almighty, then you will begin to win over that thing that has kept you bound for 35 years. Mm. There's nothing that can stop you if the Word of God is flowing in you and through you. Amen. Let's look back at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. I wish we had more time. The Apostle Paul is saying to us today, now, thanks be to God. Can we pause for a minute for station identification? Maybe the reason why some of us are not seeing victory in our lives when we're under pressure is because we're not giving God thanks for the past victories and for the things that he's doing right now. Amen. If we forget right. to rejoice and give God thanks, then God is not obligated to bless us. If we're going through something, and all of us go through something. If you don't, just keep living or stop lying, either mm -hmm. one. But if you're going through something, mm -hmm. we are to remember to give God praise and thanks even while we're in the storm. That's right. Now, sometimes, you know, we hear great songs that say praise and praise him and God will cancel a storm. And that may be true on some circumstances. But on others, God will not cancel a storm, but he will strengthen you while you're in the storm, good yeah. God Almighty, yeah. and bring you out of the storm strong. I feel the Holy Ghost. I wish I could lay hands on some, but I'll lay hands on the coffee cup instead. God will give you the victory while you're in the storm mm -hmm. if you stay in his word. And if you speak out of your mouth the word of God with confidence, with precision, mm -hmm. and with understanding about what you are speaking. In other words, all the promises of God and amen. Oh, yes. But if you don't That's understand right. the promises, you won't get the promise. But God is saying today, mm -hmm. now thanks be to God. You may have gotten a bad doctor's note, but believe the report of the Lord. Amen. God his report says that you are healed Amen. right now. 
Don't you don't thank you don't thank him for the cancer, honey. Don't say, well, thank you, Lord, I got cancer, I got nine months to live. You say, Father, in spite of the doctor's report, I thank you that by your stripes I am healed in Jesus' name. That wasn't even a part of it, but God is working on it. That's good. Now listen to this, baby. Whiners will not get the victory in Jesus. Complainers will not inherit the promise. But only those who belong to God and know their God-given right will have victory in their lives. Amen. I think that's awesome. That's, that's good. Whiners and complainers, because what do we do? And we've all been, been there before. You know, we're focusing on the problem when we whine and complain. Not that we're denying it. You know, we, we can't do that. We have to be truthful. But I just want to back up a little bit on chapter, uh, verse 13. It said, I had no rest in my spirit. This is Paul. So that means he had issues and problems just like we do. But going on down to 14, even though we have these issues, we don't complain about them. We don't whine about them. We give thanks to God who's going to bring us out. That's what we're saying here. Amen. Amen. Let's look back at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. You're going to love this. If you're taking notes, write this down. But thanks be to God, yes. which always causes us to triumph in Christ. Now, let's look at the word always. Can we do that? The word always means regardless of any situation. So regardless of the situation that I may be in right now, regardless of what the devil tries and a few folk that work for him may be trying to do, God always causes us to triumph or God always gives us a victorious life if our focus and if our faith is on him. Now Lisa's right. It's a way out. We must speak God's word in season and out of season. Now, do we always do it? Of course not. Sometimes we get blindsided and we get in the flesh or we just kind of just just daze out for a minute. But when you come to yourself, pick up that word of God. Pick up that sword. Pick up that promise that says that no matter what, Mm -hmm. I have the victory. Mm -hmm. I have the victory in Jesus. Years ago, we used to sing, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Somebody need to tell the devil to get up out of your house right now. Amen? That's right. Commander. Now, now let's let's, let's go back to 2 Corinthians. I feel feel a a Baptist anointing coming on me. (laughs) So 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14 again. But thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph. So we know that always means regardless of any situation. The Greek means always on every occasion, on every occasion. So you may have heard the saying, win some, lose some. That was a saying out in the world. But God is saying that's not biblically correct. God that never, never has called you to win some or lose some. But God is telling you today, good God Almighty, Mm -hmm. to pick up your trophy Pick up your faith and say, I refuse to be defeated by the devil. Mm -hmm. I refuse to be defeated by this demonic society that we live in. I choose to win always at all costs. Now, winning, in order to win, ladies and gentlemen, you must hear the voice of the Lord. You cannot win if you don't hear his voice. You may be asking, well, how can I win? Hear his voice. He talks to you through his word. Mm -hmm and through his precious Holy Spirit. Now listen, if you hear a still, soft voice telling you, turn left, don't go this door, but go home. Listen to that voice. Mm-hmm. God causes you to win. Now, oh, I hear this in the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you can win an argument by, by keeping your mouth shut. That's just a side note for somebody. But listen, we're getting back. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. Now we're talking about living a victorious life. Now, I, I, now this, this really struck me. Now, thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. The word always carries another definition of the word approval. So when we operate in faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. when we pray according to God's word and according to his will, we get God's approval, and we get exactly what we asked from the Lord. Did you hear that? Just as a child comes to get your approval, 
or someone that's working under you in authority, God says, if you come to me in faith, not wavering in your faith or in your heart, I will give exactly what you want as long as it lines up with my word. Amen. Now, Webster's Dictionary says always means at all times, at any rate, or in any event. Did you hear that? So God causes me to have victory at all times, in, at any rate, and in any event, if my faith, if my trust is in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm. Amen? Amen. I believe that sometimes we've missed our victories because we've left Jesus out of the scenario. For sure. We, we, we went on our own plan, mm -hmm. and, and God is nowhere in it. And I heard, we heard somebody talk about this not long ago. We make our own plans. Mm -hmm. Then when it fails, we go to God. <laughs> God is saying today, if, if you put me first, if, if you seek my wisdom first, before you start your plans, mm -hmm. then I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that you have victory mm -hmm. inside of your plans, mm -hmm. and it will manifest in your life. You got something, baby? Yeah, that, that's good. We did, we did talk about that. So he wants to be involved from the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. And that's a continual seeking his presence in order to get you to the victor victorious living that we're talking about. Because we don't have enough wisdom to do it on our own. We don't have enough wisdom. That's why God is for us, to get us to the other side. Amen? Amen. 2 Corinthians, again, chapter 2 and verse 14. But thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. God is saying to you today, across the United States and around the world, that you can have victory over every situation or over anything that the devil tries to throw at you. I'm telling you, we're telling you that God has paved the way for victory through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I would encourage you today, we want to encourage you to believe it. Mm -hmm. Act like you have the victory. Walk like you have the victory. Talk like you have the victory. That's the key right there. You, somebody ought to, Amen. if you don't have That's a job and you're looking for a career, somebody needs, you need to put your clothes on every morning, get your hair combed, get yourself dressed as if though you're going to work in faith. Get yourself ready. Put in your resumes. Put in your application. Do your interviews. Give God something to work with if you want victory. And thank him for it. Now, if you want victory in yes, your finances, the only way you can do it is to be a giver. Mm -hmm. You may be thinking, well, I'm struggling right now. Honey, don't stop giving. Don't stop. There was, there was a song years ago that said, don't stop believing. It's a secular song. Well, God is saying today, don't stop believing my word. Mm -hmm. Don't stop planting seeds. If you want victory, there's no area of your life that is off limits to God if your faith is strong in God. Oh, good Lord. I Amen. feel that one. I need to write that down or get the tape for myself. Hallelujah. So 2 Corinthians tells us that we always, not sometimes, but we always have victory. We always triumph in Christ. I saw a little note in my Bible, and I don't remember writing this. I'm sure I did, but the Holy Spirit must have given it to me. And I want to read this to you right quick. It's just one word or one, one little phrase, and I hope it's a blessing to you. Check this out. Now, thanks be to God. We're in 2 Corinthians 2 and 14 again. Thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph. The Holy Spirit told me, and I didn't see this until we just started this service today. The Holy Spirit told me that triumph is actually a celebration after the victory. Not only after the victory, but before and during the victory. God says it is time for us as his people to celebrate the victory before you get it. You don't have to wait until the victory shows up at your door. Yes. You don't have to wait until you get the trophy in your hand. An Olympic runner or a professional or college athlete envisions, imagines, or has the, a, 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 a belief system that he or she will one day hold that trophy. NASCAR, thank God for Jimmy Johnson, number 48, baby, pull it out one more time, has the vision 
I lost Lisa on that one totally. Don't put the camera on her. Has the vision that he will one, one day win another trophy. You have to envision victory if you want it. Because if you don't, you will never get it. Amen. God is telling you today to pick up that mantle. Pull your bootstraps up, soldier, and proclaim victory in your life. Amen. So you and I can have victory in any event, at all times, in any occasion, if our focus and our obedience mm. is on Jesus Christ. If we refuse to obey God, then we will not have victory. We will circle around the mountain one more time, Israelites. Circle around the mountain one more time. But if we obey him, victory is assured. Now, here's the, here's the misconception that we as Christians have sometimes embraced. We embrace victory as one thing. God says it may be that or it may be something else. God may give you a victory in another area of your life if you're faithful right here. What am I saying? You, we, we, may, we may want money. We may think money is the answer. And the Bible said money answers all things. But wisdom may be the thing that you need the most mm -hmm. that surpasses the value of the money that you desire or that you need. You can have victory in your life and you won't win some and lose some. You will win, win. Ain't that right, Lisa? Amen. Win, win. win. Yes. Lisa talks about a win, win situation. Mm -hmm. Well, serving God is a win-win situation. Absolutely. You may get hit. You may get buffeted. You may get pushed by the devil or, or, or by some folk that, <laughs> that has signed a lifelong contract with the devil. But God said, despite all that, you have victory right now. Right now. Right now. Right good now. Lord God That's Almighty. Good. Hallelujah. That's good. Listen to this. Paul says again. Oh, check this out. Another translation in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14 tells us, but I thank God. Now, now right now where you are, you're in an impossible situation. But God says, give him thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. Lift up your hands and magnify him. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank Say this you. with me. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Come, to come into my house. Come into my house. To come into my finances. Come into my finances. I will listen to you. I will listen to you. And I will obey you. I will obey you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, yes. Paul says, I thank God. Now, yes. Paul's been through something. Been Paul yeah. went through a lot of things. Oh, yeah. But Paul said, I still choose to thank God mm. who always leads me in victory That's right. because of Christ. Amen. God can only lead those people who will submit themselves to his word, who are obedient to his word, and who are willing to be led by his word. God blesses the obedient mm -hmm. who are willing to be led by his word. I want to encourage you today. We want to encourage you today to submit to his word, to submit to his word. Let him lead your lives life you will not be disappointed in his leading and in him blessing you because of your obedience we've got to stop right here this has been fun 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 you know we 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 quoted the power verse and mm -hmm. and we study the power verse and we live by the power verse god's word will change your life amen amen now listen we've had such a big request for the for our book that, that we've been uh, talking about, When the Boss is Not Looking oh, by yeah, James Puckett. Sure. The books have literally been flying off the shelves and we're grateful for, for Mr. Puckett uh, producing those books. He's a vice president here at Winning with God. If For any love gift of any amount, we'll send you that book. Amen. We'll send you that book You'll because be it will be a blessing to you. Now, again, we will not get the victory if Jesus Christ is not your Lord. Are you ready to have victory? Are you ready? Are you ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Well, we're going to ask Lisa to pray and lead you in a prayer so you can begin to receive victory in Jesus. Amen. Amen. This has been a Good wonderful Lord show. God Almighty. Father, we thank you for this. Just repeat, after, just repeat after me, and it's just enjoy this victorious life that God wants to have for us because we will win. Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you for Jesus. Jesus, I take you today as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart now. 
Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And Father, help me to live the victorious life that you promised through your Holy Spirit. I receive it right now. I am saved and I believe it and I confess it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. Now, when Lisa prayed Praise that prayer, God. I felt the power of God move Ooh. in the house. Let us know. Write, yeah, us. write Let us. Let us know. We celebrate with you. Amen. Amen. Now listen, Scripture tells us that they that are planted in the local church shall flourish. We want to encourage you to, to get connected to a local church that preaches and teaches Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yes. When you do this, your life will begin to gain the victory. You don't have to go through it alone. God wants to bless you. He wants to empower you. He wants you to rise above the issues that you're dealing with right now. And you've made the better choice, sir or ma'am. And angels are rejoicing in heaven. We're rejoicing right here and we love you. Now always remember saints, whatever you're going through, God has your answer. Whatever you need from him, you don't have to go to check into cash first. You can go to God. Seek his wisdom and he will give it to you. God says, I'll, I will not withhold anything good from you. So what does that tell you? That you can have li a life of victory and not a life of defeat concerning your health, concerning your wealth, concerning your children or even your home or your car or whatever it is. God is your sole supplier. God is your source. Yes. And he's so absolutely, positively in love with you. In other words, God is so in love with you that he sent his son to die for you. Yes. Even though we are not worth dying for. That's how much God loves you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Well, I'll tell you Amen. what. He's faithful. When we're not. And we can God. have victory yes. in him. And we choose today to walk in total victory with Jesus. Amen. You choose it. Mm -hmm. You stand on God's word. Never regret it. Never back down and never give up because all the promises of God are what? Yes, yes and, and amen. amen. That's a true word for you today. Well, listen, we're so glad that you've joined us. We are so in love with Jesus and we are nothing without him. We've got to run. Remember, Jesus loves you. God loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. And so do we at Winning with God. We are winning with God. All things are possible. We want to thank you for your support of this ministry in the past. And we want to encourage you to continue to part with, partner with us going forward. There are many ways that you can partner, but we want to ask you to seek God with respect to what he would have you give or sow into this ministry to help us continue to take the gospel to the world. As Paul said to the church at Philippi, it is not the gift that we seek, but it's the fruit that abounds to your account. Know that the seed you sow is a long seed and will continue to produce for you in the years to come. Thank you.